Hey, what's up everybody? Jonathan Weinman here, and today I'll be showing you a general overview of the DWE control application. The DWE control app is where you're gonna pair your drums and cymbals to your drum link hub, adjust trigger settings, and a ton more. Control gives you everything you need to fine tune the performance of your DWE kit to your own personal playing style. Let's jump over to the computer and dive in. Once you've installed DW Soundworks and DWE Control, you're all ready to go. You'll be able to find DWE Control in your taskbar. If you're using a Mac like I am here today, it'll be in the upper right-hand corner. If you're on Windows, it'll be in the bottom right-hand corner. Let me first show you a few key parts to get you up and running. On the top left, you're gonna see a button labeled Hub. This button will open the Drumlink USB Hub settings. This is where you'll see a revision number of the Hub, antenna settings, and if there are any available Hub firmware updates. Plus, there's an option to send MIDI out of the Drum Hub so that you can use a Drum module that has MIDI in, but we'll cover this in another video. Next to the Hub button, you'll see a button called Pair. This is the button you're gonna to use to first connect your drums and cymbals to the Hub. Once you tap them, they're gonna show up in the left-hand panel. In the left panel, you'll also see a checkbox for Auto Track. This lets you select a drum by simply tapping it. If you notice a yellow exclamation mark on some of these drums or cymbals, that means that there's a firmware update for that individual drum or cymbal. I'll be doing a deep dive on updating trigger firmware in another video. As you select a drum or cymbal, an edit button will be shown. If you press it, a pop-up window will appear. In the pop-up, there are options to update the firmware, import and export trigger settings, a factory reset, and an unpair option. Unpairing lets you remove a drum or a cymbal from the hub just like unplugging a pad from a drum module. We'll cover these options in more detail in future videos. Now with the DWE kit, you can tune the mesh heads to fit your own playing style. There might be a time where you wanna crank them up a little bit for a bebop feel, or maybe you wanna drop it down to really let the stick sink into the head. But just remember, after you make these adjustments, you'll need to go back and recalibrate the drums so the trigger learns this new drum head tension. In the center, you're gonna see a tool tip bar. It'll show you tips on the different settings and how to use them when you hover the mouse over any given parameter. The next section you'll see is velocity control. Velocity control is where we can adjust the velocity curve and dynamic range settings. These affect how a drum or cymbal interprets a hit. Now, if I hit the snare, you'll see what type of curve is assigned to it. Now, if I hit the floor tom, it'll show a different curve along with its dynamic range settings. But with the DWE kit, each drum and cymbal all have multiple striking areas or zones, and each zone its individual curve and dynamic range. This is really what makes the DWE kit feel more natural. Next to the velocity control window is the hit log. This is gonna show you all of your hits as you strike each instrument. You can use this window as a visual aid to troubleshoot common trigger issues such as double triggering. You can clear the hit log with the clear button and start fresh with a new hit log. Above the hit log, we have a MIDI map button. Here you can select a MIDI map based on third-party software applications or a drum module to use with your DWE kit. Let's now look at the lower part of the main window. This is where the trigger settings are located. Those are sensitivity, threshold, re-trigger, scan time, and mask time. For now, the default settings should work for most playing styles. If you end up wanting to adjust these settings, I'll be showing you that in another video. In addition to the trigger settings shown, there are more advanced options available in the Options and Advanced tabs. These display specific features for different drum or cymbal types. And if we click on the Options tab, you have different zones enabled or disabled on the snare drum. You can see the rim, rim shot, and cross stick zone options. You'll also be able to adjust advanced features such as positional sensing, throw off, and pitch bin. Plus, you can turn the trigger LEDs on or off. Moving over to the advanced tab, we have additional settings specific to the snare drum. For example, you have blend knobs for adjusting the rim shot versus the drum head, rim versus rim shot, positional sensing smoothness, 
and the range amount of positional sensing. These topics will all be covered in detail in another video. Now let's switch over and explore the MIDI tab. This is where each drummer symbol's MIDI note and MIDI channel number are shown. The default MIDI channel is 10, as it is common for drums and percussion in the synthesizer and software worlds. Also, we have the option to use the snare throw off to select two different sets of sounds with the snare throw on and off option. The last area that I'm gonna cover is gonna be the trigger settings collapse button. It minimizes what the DWE control app displays to only the active drums and cymbals in your setup. This is great for checking things with a quick glance, just to make sure that your kit is connected. Well, this wraps up our overview of DWE control. As you can see, there are so many options to fine tune your DWE kit to match your own playing style. I'm Jonathan, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.